All right, Pisces, we're going to jump into a, your person reading. Guys, if you need anything, check out that description. My tarot course is down there if you want to learn tarot with me, as well as all of my booking information. Everything that I have to offer is in that description. Cards I use, there's all kinds of things down there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump straight into your reading. You'll notice that my energy is very anxious. I have a lot going on right now. But it's interesting because even with me having so much going on to the point where I should be taking off because someone in our family is about to pass, I'm feeling this urge to push forward to do these readings because I feel like there has been a lot shifting, especially here recently. And I feel like there's something here where you've set firm boundaries with your person in some sense, form or fashion, and you're ready for them to maybe step up in a different way. This could have been a conversation recently that you guys had saying, you know, this is what I need from you. This is this is how I need you to show up. This could be something as simple as you can't have me or we can't do this unless this happens. But there's been some sort of boundary. You wanting to be patient. And whoever it is that you've been dealing with, they're feeling very called to take some sense of action, but feeling very burdened and weighed down. You know, there's two types of people in this world. There's one type of person who, when they feel called to do something and they feel called to take some sort of action or change or do something, they follow that intuition. Any nudge is a nudge in the right direction. And then there's also another type of person who constantly fights their intuition, fights what the universe is telling them to do because maybe they don't trust their self. They don't trust where they're going. There's fear. There can be so many different things. There could be some sort of message of good news that somebody's wanting to give you about some sort of ending. Something that could have been a long time coming around to end. This could have been anything, anything, a job, an addiction, a commitment, I mean, a, a mindset. Someone wanting to give you a message of good news about an ending. And maybe you've been waiting for this person to step up, speak this truth, have this conversation. How is this person viewing you right now? Someone who's going towards a new beginning. You want truth. You want clarity. Maybe someone who's also really guarded when it comes to their stability. So they see you as someone who holds their cards really close to their chest because ultimately your concern is your foundation, your stability. Maybe for some of you, there's also a, my peace of mind is the, the greatest gift I could have. And if I feel like someone is taking my peace of mind, or if I feel like someone's not being honest with me or telling me something, then maybe they can feel you detached. Maybe they can feel you start getting guarded, holding things to your chest. Because when we do feel that someone's not telling us the truth, even if we don't have hard evidence, we can feel that energy. We can feel them hiding something. We can feel them wanting to tell us something but not doing it, wanting to take action but not doing it. And I feel like especially with me. Tell me if you're the same way. When I see someone battling like that, it makes me want to kind of step away from them and say, okay, I can, I can already see that you're struggling all on your own to even make a decision. I just heard, how do you feel about being with someone who is so unconfident in their, in their self and in their choices? So that's interesting. Maybe that's something you've asked yourself. How else do they view you? Yeah, someone who's maybe having a lot of celebration, having a lot of fun. They could view you as someone who's maybe hanging out with family, friends, reconnecting with people. Even if you are reconnecting with people, whether it's family, friends, coworkers, acquaintances, there is an energy here where this person views you as someone who... It's like, yeah, you know, we can give this another shot, but I want truth. I want clarity. With this new beginning, I expect vulnerability. I expect 
you to understand that I'm in your corner, you're, you're in mine. I want a different future. That's that ace of air. So even if they do see you going out and doing things, you're doing things differently. And it's getting you to this three of water. It's getting you that happiness. It's getting you that joy. It's getting you that celebration. It's getting you to a point where you're having the ability to, you know, detach and say, that's your circus, that's your monkeys, you've got to deal with this. This is my energy and I'm going to focus on me. When we love someone so much, especially in commitments and family dynamics and friend dynamics, we can sometimes put ourselves on the back burner to give and give and give, to love them, to, sh to water them, to show them, hey, I've got you. But in some instances, we do have to take a step back and say, okay, hold on a second. Is this working for me? Is this benefiting me? What am I getting out of this? Do I feel like you're holding something back? That's that energy here. Viewing you as someone who's tired of giving and feeling like you're not getting the things in return. Again, this can mean something as simple as I'm tired of trying to have conversations and make this work with you and you put a wall up. Okay, so how do they feel towards you? Excuse me. Whoa. King of water. They feel a lot of emotion. They feel a lot of love. Wanting to manifest something with you. Could be dealing with a water sign. You don't have to be. So they feel... It's so interesting because this person feels like you're the person they've manifested. They feel a lot of love, a lot of emotion, a lot of caring, compassionate energy for you. Feeling like they recognize you. They see you. Feeling like you guys could have success together. Feeling like they could actually give this their all and this could go somewhere. It's so interesting because right now they view you as someone who's like, but are you here to stay? Are you here to make me feel like something's wrong with me or I'm not good? And are you another lesson? I mean, I'm getting a lot of overthinking and a lot of it's coming from a lack of conversation from this person. Again, them wanting to tell you that maybe some endings happen that you don't know about. As I just said that, look what I went to. Eight of Wands. Communication. That's what I'm saying. Communication that will bring movement forward. But you not getting this communication is making you feel some type of way. Because when there is, when there is space for us to assume, for us to come to our own um, conclusions, it can, it can give us the ability to make it wrong. So example, you know, if I don't tell you what's going on in my life, you don't know, but you could assume, you could assume that I'm busy doing A, B, C, or D, but in reality, I'm really doing this because I, I gave you the space to assume. I gave you the space without the clarity to assume. And with that assumption, again, you got to a point where you were like, okay, well, mm, your lack of clarity is telling me that you're either not serious, you're trying to play with me. I'm not doing this. Like, that's your energy. Even if you're with this person in the house right now, you could be in a full-blown commitment. It's to a point where it's like we're four or five years down the road. I still don't got a ring on my finger. We're still not talking about where this is going, and I feel like I'm kind of wasting my time. But what you're not realizing is this person does love you. This does this person does feel a lot of compassion and emotion and empathy and does see some sort of success and victory. But again, there had to be some sort of ending that they had to bring. And it's going to come out of nowhere. You're going to get some sort of communication. It could be a communication of love. could be some sort of small communication of love, something where you're, I feel like you're going to be um, caught off guard. I feel like you're going to have to do some sense of self-reflection. Again, because you might not expect this. Because remember, in your mind, you're like, well, I kind of already know where this is going. I kind of already know A, B, C, or D. I already know. When in fact, maybe you don't know. So why hasn't this person filled you in? Why hasn't this person something?
think here about somebody wanting to rest. A juggling energy. Not wanting to put you in... Hmm. Mm, defensive energy. See, that's what I'm saying. Defensive energy. Wanting to bring some sort of offer. I don't get why... I'm getting really confused. So that's very interesting. Why didn't they tell you what was going on? It's interesting because maybe if they were dealing with another person, they were dealing with something that was unbalanced. Something that could have been, with the Page of Air, that's a message of bad news. That could be spying. But the Page of Air isn't always, it can be learning. And this person could have learned that either there was no more growth somewhere or that something or someone that they thought, okay, so let's say this is another person. You know, who I thought you were is not who you actually are. Um, maybe this person realized that they got manipulated by another individual and took them out of a place of them being able to make a decision. You know, if there is three people involved, it's an energy here where this person didn't want to take um, maybe responsibility that there was choices that needed to be made. They let the universe make it for them. Well, when, the, when you let the universe make decisions for you, sometimes that can lead to lessons. Because if we can't make a decision... Sometimes we have to go without. And I feel like if they were dealing with another person, there is a strong possibility that that person was very unbalanced, very um, prideful, very possessive is what I just heard. So that can be a job. That could be another person. But there's something here where maybe they didn't want to get you involved because they didn't want you to have to deal with that. You know, if this is family members or friends or whatever this is, this could be anything. So let's keep an open mind. There is an energy here of if I put you in this chaos, you would then have to question if you wanted to stay. You know, everybody is all for going through the hard times with their lover until they realize how hard those times can get. I actually know someone personally who I did a reading for and I told that person, you know, this connection is going to be very hard and there's going to be a lot of learning. And when I say learning, I really mean learning. And about a year and a half into it, the experiences were so hard that she was like, you know, I can't do this. And I was like, you know, I did tell you that this, the, this was going to be hard. You are learning with this person. And when you learn with someone, you can go through their lessons together. And it can be lessons that you've already learned. And you could be wanting to save this person. And you can't because they're not wanting to see. They're not wanting to listen. They're not wanting to trust. They're not trusting their self. Why the hell would they trust you? And it was a strong energy of, you know, be careful what you wish for because just because we love someone doesn't mean that they love their self like that. And I feel that. I feel a strong energy of if you would have really got into the thick of it with this person or really knew about everything that was going on. You know, maybe this was a job that was doing them dirty and they didn't want to tell you because you would go up there and flip the whole building upside down. You know, there's a part of you that could have come out that wouldn't have made it any better. And it could have definitely got to a point where you maybe you would have had to make a decision. You would have had to be like, well, I don't know if I even want to deal with this. So I feel like whoever this is opted to, I heard keep you safe. But I feel like you're going to disagree with that is what I'm getting. I feel like you're going to be like, no, that's not. You should have told. But I feel like, again, there, there's an energy here of them dealing with something that wasn't balanced. Them having to transform something on their own. Them having to feel the passion, the strength, and the courage. You know, the king of fire is a strong energy of not only am I going to say what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to show up as the person that I'm saying that I am. And sometimes it can be really hard to transform your life, to say this is unhealthy, this isn't bringing growth, I'm done. And it can be an even harder thing for you to put someone that you love on the outskirts so they don't have to go through that with you. It's kind of like a protection. I feel like this person's very protective over you in a way that you would really love and admire, but it also in a way that you don't understand because I feel like you want to be involved. You want to be this person right beside them, side by side, elbow, elbow. But I'm hearing we're not there yet. It's like 
this person, it's going to take time to get to that position in this person's life. And this person sees you as this Queen of Cups, a very loving, giving, compassionate, nurturing, sweet individual. And don't get it twisted. You also show up as the Queen of Swords, which means you will straight up stab somebody with a sword. You are not playing with nobody. And again, maybe that's why this person's kept you out of this. Because maybe there is parts of you that come out that they know, that they've seen, that they've heard of. And maybe just maybe they didn't want you to be like, you know, I don't, I don't think I want to do this. So keeping you in the dark, I'm, I'm hearing just keep this on the hush, hush. See, that's what, keeping this on the hush, not telling you everything that's going on, going through this and feeling burdened by it by their self has helped, one, build their strength, but I feel like it's also helped keep things off of you. And a lot of you aren't going to recognize that until further down the line. Further down the line, you're going to look back at this and go, Okay, yeah, you were thinking about me. You were putting me first. You knew I had enough going on. You knew I didn't want to deal with that. You knew I probably would have went to jail. Whatever it is, you knew. You knew me enough to know you don't deserve to be in this. You don't deserve to deal with this. So how are they viewing this connection? Ooh. They could view this connection as possibly you not really using your intuition you holding back. You know, it's interesting because I feel like there's a part of them who, that thinks you don't know what's going on, but I'm hearing she knows. So, you know. Again, if they are detaching, if they are not telling you things, if their energy is filling off, you can feel it. You might not be fully looking for all the answers in the middle of the night, but your intuition is telling you. I feel it strongly. But for some reason, they view it as you not knowing, as you being completely in the dark, you manifesting balance on your own. Because again, I feel like you're losing faith. Even if you're with this person, you're at a point where it's like, I don't really think you want to spend life with me. But what you're not realizing is this person has something going on right now. Again, maybe this is at a job. Maybe this is a baby mama or baby daddy. And you guys don't really get in each other's business like that. But what you don't know is one of them's being a little petty. One of them's bringing some bad news. They've got a battle that they've got to fight with this person. And they know... Or they're not wanting you to be in the middle of it because they know how this person is. That They know this person plays dirty. They know this person's imbalanced. And maybe this person even has like a childish energy to them. With this page of air and empress coming out sideways, maybe this person's very immature and childish. Um, I don't know how the rest of you deal with that, but I don't deal with things like that very well. I, I tend to get very aggressive. So... Tell me down below, you know, how would you handle that? How would you handle a situation where you felt like your person was being manipulated or being held back from being able to progress with you because someone is either having some sort of childish energy, speaking some sort of bad news to them? How else do they view this connection? Interesting look. They view this connection as you being wish fulfillment. As you being someone that they can grow with. As you being someone that they feel matches their energy. But again, there's some sort of burden they have to drop. Making final decisions. So again, if this is like, okay, once and for all, I'm not doing this with you. It's like they're finally putting a nail in the coffin. What they say is what they finally mean. But maybe, just maybe, if you would have known this all along, you would be to a point now where you're like, you know what, I don't know. I, I don't know what I, no, I don't know if I want to do this. But because you've not really been fully in the middle of it, you know something's up, you know something's off, you know there's something you don't know, you know there's something that's hidden. They feel like you haven't been using your intuition, but with the Queen of Cups coming up, it's telling me that you have. It's telling me that you're not showing this person all of your cards, you're not showing this person you're not going up to this person and going, I know you're lying. I know that you've got some things going on. You ain't telling me the truth. What the hell's going on? Your energy's off. Like, that's not you. You can feel it, but you're like, mm, whatever. If you don't want to tell me, you don't want to tell me. But the reason this person's not telling you is because they want to protect you. They want to keep you safe. 
And this is how this person feels that they can keep you safe. So what are they wanting with you? Whoa, Page of Cups, Ace of Cups, they want love. Not wanting to come in too quickly, bringing a lot of change and transformation, also making sure that they're cautious when it comes to this change and transformation. Wanting to give you clarity, what are they wanting to give you clarity on? Yeah, some sort of communication. Something to do with healing, resting. Why does the High Priestess keep coming out in the reverse? Some sort of message of bad news or message of truth that you're going to get. What are they wanting? The Tower. It's going to be unexpected. Not wanting to be separate. Yeah, so again, if there is an energy here, y'all could be separate, but let's say you're not. Let's say you guys are living together, but there is something here where it's like we're not as close as we used to be. I can feel something's coming in between us. It's not necessarily that something's coming in between y'all. It's that there's something going on, and this person doesn't want you to carry the burden. They're like, you know what? You're the Empress. You're the Queen of Wands. You're my wish fulfillment. I want you to continue to do what you're doing. I want you to continue to look good, continue to have fun, continue to, to work and, you know, do the things that are making you happy because I feel like you're my wish fulfillment and I do want to protect you. I do want to care for you. I do want to nurture you. And for some stinking reason, whoever, this could be somebody that they've known for a long, long time that they've been dealing with. Again, this could be like a sister, a brother, a baby mama, a baby daddy. Um, a family member, a friend, someone here who I feel like has been trying to keep them stuck, but they're wanting something new. They're wanting something fresh. Again, feeling this sense of inspiration. I need to do this. I need to do this. But also not telling you that maybe they're going to quit their job or they're going to tell their baby mama, oh, you know what? I'm done talking to you. I only want to talk to your spouse now. Or, you know, baby daddy, I'm done talking to you. I only want to talk to your wife now. A way where it's like, okay, this isn't working. We're going to quit beating a dead horse. Let's change this. Because not only do I want to give you wish fulfillment, but I'm tired of carrying this burden as well. It's not your burden to carry, but I'm over this crap. But there could be something that you don't know. With the high priestess coming in the reverse, there could be something that, again, you don't see. And it has everything to do with the leap. This person feeling like they should take a leap. Not wanting you to have options. This person's wanting to snatch you up. They are a little indecisive on how you're going to feel on that with the Two of Pentacles. Feeling like you're going to be indecisive. Maybe even being unsure if you want some sort of new beginning with them. Again, you know, even if this is someone who's not told you everything that's going on, are you going to see that as lying? That's what this person's worried about. I see it as them being protective and not wanting you to carry chaos or bullshit that's not yours. But you might see it as them lying. You might see it as them not trusting you or not wanting to open up to you. So, okay. How are they feeling? I'm starting to understand our connection. I have trouble with intimacy. Interesting. I couldn't let you get close to me. Come out in the reverse. So maybe at one point this person didn't want to let you get close to them. Maybe now they're ready to drop that wall. Starting to understand this connection. Again, them wanting some sort of legacy, stability. They're wanting some sort of foundation. Feeling like they can't take their eyes off you. They could be wanting to move this quickly against their better judgment. Um, you know, once you guys get on the same page, they could be ready to take this from zero to a hundred. So just go ahead and know about that as well. I would do this all over again. Okay, so they wouldn't change a thing that they've been doing. Again, because in their mind, they've been protecting you. Feeling like you guys maybe don't share the same values. So there, there could just be a different background. You could have different religions. You could literally just grew up differently. You know, if someone grew up in a home with two parents and someone grew up in, in the projects with one parent, that's a different lifestyle. You're going to think differently. You're going to handle money differently. You're going to handle life differently. Maybe one of you is going to know how to fight and the other one's never had to lay hands down before in your life. You know, maybe one of you will never own a car because it's just not, 
in the budget and the other one gets a brand new BMW at 16. We're just, we're different. We're different. And I feel like there is something here as well. This person's worried on how well they can match up with you. Feeling like a lot of people want you and want your attention. Feeling like you can grow anything with anyone. Why would you pick me to stay with? Again, even if we're starting to feel an energy of detachment, there is a, a worry in this person's mind. Can we get as close as we used to be? Can we get close like that? Hmm... They are understanding that they want a foundation built here. But they also have a problem with letting people in with I have trouble with intimacy. Being that vulnerable. You speak to me through music. Feeling like maybe they're scared you don't feel the same. Feeling like, I'm hearing that song, Safe and Sound. Feeling like they could make you very safe and sound, but worried that you might not want that from them. Or the, It's interesting because it's like, I've been keeping you in the dark. I've not been telling you everything. You're starting to detach. You're getting over it. You're like, okay, well, whatever. I guess I just need to detach, go focus on myself, get myself looking right and tight and maybe just either leave this connection or go on to someone else because you're not wanting to ask me out or take this to another level. But now this person is recognizing more than ever that they do and they're ready to take that action that they've been feeling so called to take, wanting to protect you in that, in that process. But they're also feeling like, although they can make you feel very safe and sound in the connection, they're not sure what you're wanting. There is a part of them, again, that feels that you don't feel the same. Maybe you don't want what I want. Um, worried that maybe you just want... I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, I want to start something real and solid with you. What did I say? I want to marry you one day and settle down. I'm telling you. Feeling like they're they're reminded of you, but feeling really guarded. Why are they feeling so guarded? Some sort of sadness and disappointment. Feeling hopeless. Because they're having to walk away from something. Having to make final decisions if they want to grow something. Yes. So, again, whatever's happened... They're disappointed in their self, maybe having to take the road that they took. They could definitely be disappointed in their self and how they do show up. But again, I'm getting, you know, I wish I didn't do this. I wish I would, I ain't like this, but I am. And I'm not going to apologize for that because at the end of the day, I'm like that because I want to protect you. I'm getting a strong, I want to protect you energy. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't have to be a masculine. Women can also be very protective wanting to protect you from anyone and everyone who will maybe make an opinion, make a comment, make a judgment. Wanting to protect you from those people who would try to make your life harder than it needs to be. This is very sweet energy. It's future energy for these two. Moving out of rough waters into calmer waters, feeling unsure if they can get to where they want to go, doing some sense of reflection. Wanting to invest. Wanting to invest with someone that they feel like is a soulmate, but scared that you might not accept their offer. Scared you might be to a point where you're discontent with them and this. Maybe they feel like, okay, you're bored now. Again, they can feel that you're starting to detach because you're over it. But you're going to find out some sort of communication, some sort of burden that they've been carrying. So, again, even if you're in the home with this person... They can feel that you're at a point where you're like, you know what? I think I think we should we should split. I think we're done. Like that's kind of your energy at this point. And this person's like, no. I know that it could take us some time. I, I know that maybe I haven't been showing up for you, and I haven't been telling you the things that you need to know and you need to hear. But let me tell you why. And I feel like an explanation is going to help tremendously. Okay, we're gonna leave that here for today, guys. Have a blessed day.